Hi everyone, today we're going to create an adult or teen size tutu dress on an elastic base. The supplies that you're going to need are your premium tool, scissors, hot glue, felt or foam pieces, optional leaves, optional 1 8 inch satin ribbon, and then your one and a half inch satin ribbon to go around the base of the elastic. You can also choose to use those googly eyes. We have a full length video on how to cut tool from a bolt because we're using the shimmering orange tool from a bolt. So if you need some help with that, please feel free to check that video out. We're creating this with the pixie style cut and using the slip knot method. Now as I'm cutting this tool, because I am taking into consideration the age group that this is for, I'm making my tool strips a lot wider than usual, about seven inches wide. And I'm going to be placing four layers of tool per spot on the elastic base. I've also noticed that the shimmering tool seems to work better when you have a little bit wider tool piece that you're creating with. It's less clingy. Now I'm placing this on an oversized mannequin so that way the elastic base stretches out and I really make sure I get plenty of tool on here. Now you may be wondering how much tool did I use? I used approximately 20 yards by 54 inches in width and I cut that you know in strips. So if you want to take that off of the rolls you're talking about two six by 100 rolls. And that's just an approximation for you. But I wanted to make sure plenty was on here. To create the elastic band, all I did was use the fabric style hot glue. You can use all purpose glue. Uh, you can also sew it. I used the hot glue and that was it. Don't forget when you're measuring your elastic that you stretch it out so that way you can get the most out of the elastic you've purchased. Let's do the slip knot method. Now, since we're using four pieces of tool. This can get a little tricky, especially with it being wider than we normally create with. Take your four pieces of tool, put them together as closely as possible using that fabric softener and water solution to help keep away that static clean might be beneficial to you at this point. Go ahead and spray it lightly if you'd like. Make sure that they're all together as closely as possible. Fold it over. Now take that folded area and squish it as much as possible so that way it's easier for you to work with. Put it under the elastic, widen it with your fingers, bring the tails up, put it through that hole you've created with your fingers and gently tug down. You can use a dowel or stick like implement to tighten it now or wait until you've done the entire tutu then go and use your dowel and tighten it all. And then you can make sure that you don't have any gaps and add more tool as needed. All right, let's run through this part one more time. Okay, we're doing the slip knot method. You're gonna take your four pieces of tool, match them as closely as possible, bring the tails together, making sure that they're even, squish the folded area as much as possible, bring it under the elastic, widen it with your fingers, bring the tails up, put it through that widened area, and gently tug down. Use a dowel, or stick-like implement to tighten, either at the beginning, after each time, or at the end, when you are finished putting all your tool on there. We're going to cover this with a green one and a half inch satin ribbon on the elastic, and we have a video on that as well. I'm just gonna run through this so you can see the overall effect. We are not gonna fluff this out at all. Real quick, as I was putting the satin, on the base of the elastic, it looked like I had some gaps. Well, once I fluff that out, that's not gonna appear so anymore. To create the face, you can use a piece of chalk to outline the design you wanna create for the face of the pumpkin, or jack-o'-lantern in this case. I am not an artist in any way when it comes to sketching or drawing, so go ahead and use your imagination. I swear mine looks like buck teeth, but I'll fix it. Quick side note, if you have a coloring page or you go and print one off the internet of a jack-o'-lantern, you can trace that onto your felt or whatever you're working with to create the face. So you can create much better than I can, I'm sure, 
when you're making the face of your jack-o'-lantern. Now we're using this eco-friendly felt and the only thing I can say about this is yes it's eco-friendly but it's very very thin. So I'm having to double up. You won't have to worry about that if you're using regular felt or if you're using the foam pieces. Now in place of the eyes, you can use the googly eyes if you wish. Once you have cut your design, kind of place it on there without any glue, any adhesive, and now it's time to glue. Putting the eyes on in the nose, you just put a dab of glue. Make sure that you move the tool away from the rest of the tool that you're not working with at that time. Put a dab of glue, press firmly tool and embellishment, making sure that the glue saturates completely through the tool and the embellishment catching real well. Now flip it over and move on to the next piece or hold it and let it dry. Hot glue works really quickly so that's a benefit in this instance. Doing the eyes and the nose should not pose too big of a problem. Making the mouth part is where we have a little bit of concern. When you're putting the mouth on do the same concept. A dab of glue to start it off where you want it and then Make sure it attaches, then put your next dab of glue to the next piece of tool if you're working with more than one piece of tool, depending on how big your mouth is. And do that on each side and in the middle. Remember, you can always add glue, but sometimes it gets pretty messy when you put too much because then it can drip on to the pieces of tool you don't want any glue on. I have one spot on here that I'm going to have to work with and fix that underneath the eye that I added too much glue and I placed it wrong. The key thing is, is when you're putting the glue on your embellishment on your face that you're creating, that you don't have so much tool being covered by glue and it won't allow you to fluff it out. That's the biggest concern that we have is that, okay, I've placed it. It's really secure. Uh Oh, now I've put it on four layers of tool. I can't fluff it up. It won't work. So be careful to avoid that. I'm using 1 8 inch satin ribbon that's the same color as our elastic ribbon that we used. And I'm creating the vine effect, if you will. And I'm using some leftover leaves that I had from a different project. And now what I'm doing is I'm doing the slip knot method on the ribbon to start. And then I'm putting the leaves with a dab of glue on the ribbon, not on the tool. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm not sure if the customer that's going to get this tutu wants the vine effect or not, so they can easily take it off. But if you know you want the vines, it's a lot easier because you're putting a dab of glue and it's saturating through that 1 8 inch ribbon and then on that tool spot that you want. You can add the vines throughout or you can leave them off completely. Again, it's all based on your creativity and the idea that you have in your mind. And here you see our finished tutu dress. We went ahead and added the satin ribbon one and a half inch to the top that can go around the nape, but we didn't glue it or add an embellishment or tighten it. It's just to give you an idea if you may want that or need it. This is a fairly inexpensive, comfortable Halloween creation. We thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, Anything you create is going to be fantastic because you took the time to create it. From my family to yours, happy crafting.